frame for our gyroscope, the motor will mount on top. When it's set up, it'll move forward and back like that and give us the force from side to side on our trailer and keep it upright. Well, that's the theory. All right, Chuck, I think we're ready to get this placed on there now. The flywheel weighs 100 pounds and it'll spin at up to 5,000 revolutions per minute. If things go wrong, someone could get hurt. So the frame better be super tough. Are you more worried about it disintegrating or breaking off the shaft or something like that from vibration? Oh no, I'm more concerned about this actually flying apart. It's like a bomb, man. Yes. 5,000 RPM, 100, 100 pounds spinning around. Well, in any case, what I'd like to do is put about a foot high shroud around this at a quarter inch plate, just in case. For safety, Chuck and Gadget encase the flywheel in a steel shield. Is this the most dangerous thing we've made in a while? In a while, yeah. But I wouldn't say it's the most dangerous thing I've ever built. No, I wouldn't say that. Come on, guys. What's the worst that could happen? Well, the worst that could go wrong in this thing is the flywheel blows up, and it's got the energy of about a stick of dynamite. Uh, chunks of iron come flying out, but that's the worst of it. There's only one way to find out. Got oil, got gas, got guts. It's fired up. Nervous? Nah. You're not nervous at all? No, we're not going to fire it up full speed. Well, just a couple thousand RPM. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Yeah, it'll be fine. Let's go. <laughs> Let me grab some glasses. About to do a test. When Gadget pulls on that yellow rope, it'll simulate that trailer coming through a right-hand turn. And at that point, the trailer would normally want to roll over this way. But with the gyro running, it should provide a force this way and keep it from rolling over. The flywheel is spinning and stays intact. Want to crank it up a little? Well, that was really encouraging. I mean, I got on there and I could feel it moving back and forth, and that's what we really needed to see. And every time I pulled up or pushed down, the trailer went from side to side, which is really kind of counterintuitive. But I think we've got what we need. We'll just lengthen the pendulum a bit, and uh, we should be good to go. But can the gyro beat the truck sucker in the mid-scale test? The site of the showdown is an empty runway. It's a first chance for the rivals to size up the competition. Oh my goodness! <laughs> that out. This thing is a little dangerous. You might want to stand back even now. Does it work? <laughs> no, it doesn't. <laughs> it came yes. to the game or something. It didn't work. Yes, it, it worked. It looks good, though. We've got the. Deanne has no respect for the tilting trailer. But Chuck's exactly. dissing the truck sucker, too. So let me ask you guys a serious question. You guys really think this thing's going to work? Yes. Well, yeah. Basically, in, in very simple terms, it's a box that sucks. <laughs> you guys built a vacuum cleaner. We're basically going to be vacuuming the whole runway. The team lays out a tight curve. A pickup will pull both trailers around the bend at increasing speeds. And the design that stays on its wheels wins. The two trailers are the same. We'll have the same load mounted high up on each trailer, and uh, we'll do the same course, same speed, same arc. See what happens. But as they gear up the gyro, Chuck's confidence fades. Oh, failure points of our system. Let's see, we've got several. Our belt, we have lots of belt problems. Um, well, our gyro, the flywheel is spinning it up to 5,000 RPM. It's designed for 2,000 RPM. It could completely fly apart. So there's another major failure, bone, not to mention a safety issue. Uh, we may not generate enough force. I think that's my biggest concern. We may not generate enough force to right that trailer and keep it from flipping over. That's it, Chuck. Believe. First, the tilting trailer. OK, you guys ready? Hey, man. I'm ready. Let's go. Here we go. OK, copy. We're moving. 30 miles an hour. Let's see it. Holding the 30. At 30 miles an hour, the gyro gives up. Wow. It did tip. Yeah. It held for a while, but then I think we reached the limit of our pendulum. It wasn't swinging anymore, and it started to fade, and the thing went over. 
Chuck and Gadget's failure has put a spring in Deanne's stride. Feeling the pressure. Warming up, checking it out. Well, we know our speed to beat, 30 miles an hour. If we can hit that, we're good. Next, the truck sucker. Yeah, I'm ready. Right. It's done. Okay. And 30. Is that 30? <laughs> the vacuum pack takes the lead. <laughs> Do you see that? It was perfectly stable. 35, coming in hot. Yes! <laughs> nice! That's flat. That's flat. Yeah! The truck sucker is cruising. Chuck wants to know how far it'll go. Okay, at this point, I'm going to go the maximum speed that I can do in this truck. There we go. 40. More maximum. There we go. Come on. It's trying, it's trying. Oh, yeah. It's, it's, oh, I can't believe it. I can't I can't believe, believe it. it. Yeah! Oh, man, what's it? It only fails when the fan cuts out. Yeah. Top speed, 45 miles an hour. As soon as the engine started to sputter, it was done. We owned that. Come on, we owned yeah, it. Definitely we owned it. it. No question. We got creamed on that one. That was as fast as I possibly could have gone in this truck. I was worried about the truck rolling over. The truck sucker wins, but that's on the flat and level. Chuck isn't sure it can hold a full-sized rig on a bumpy road. I got one more test for you guys. Okay. Okay, I just want to go to a logging road okay. yeah. and just see what happens when this thing runs through a bump or two. Right. I think the main killer is, is is that you've got to maintain some sort of perfect vacuum with the ground. You I think the main point is we were told the challenge, get a trailer, put it on a truck, come out to the airport and suck it down. And All four, did, check, check, check. You did check. bring your egg in. Gloating, gloating, <laughs> gloating. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's got its shortcomings though. You got very little clearance here. You got a delicate skirt. For our application on a logging truck, I don't know how you'd get that to work. Our vacuum skirt worked really well, but the team is obviously bringing up the issue of what about a logging road? There's debris, there's bumps, you're gonna break your seal. And it's a valid point, but instead of hypothesizing, I think we should just take it out there and test it. It's back out to the logging road to give the sucker another shot. Okay, you guys are so proud of your super vacuum cleaner. <laughs> Let's see how it does out here in the real world. Good <laughs> shot. No. A good shot at cleaning the road up. Well, I used to work for a second. I think. Oh yeah. Here we go, Dan. You ready? I'm ready. Start slow. Look! 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 <laughs> The truck sucker rides the bumps, but there's an unexpected side effect. This sucker's turned into a twister. It didn't dip! <laughs> Watch out for the dust clouds coming in. Oh no! Oh my god, look at that. Look at that. Who wants to go out there and turn it off? <laughs> Let's go outside. I'm not going out there. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's raining dirt and 